YouTubers, it is me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with a new video for the morning coffee. And the truth is, it's not the morning time right now, and I am not in my office. I'm actually in the car because I just got done preaching a sermon. Yeah, life is busy. But I'm going to do this word for you really quick because you got to be committed to what you say you're going to do, right? So I'm committed to the morning coffee. So I'm going to. So today's message, I'm going to inspire you and empower you to build up your passion again. And because I'm coming from the word in Galatians 6, 9, it says, And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I want to encourage you that many seasons I have grown weary. Many seasons in this walk with God, I have been like, God, you are, I don't know where you're at. You're quiet. I'm struggling. I'm in the same financial bracket I was in two years ago. God, I'm in the same place. God, what is going on in my life? But the truth is... I was growing weary. I was getting, I was at the end of my rope. I felt like I had no more faith. I wasn't growing, all of that. And I wanna encourage you, if you find yourself in that similar season, it says, don't grow weary in well-doing and doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Due season really means the appointed season. You see, God puts us through to test in appointed seasons because the test is usually trying to get God to complete or accomplish something in our lives. So that due season just means the appointed time. See, we will reap in the appointed season, but we've got to be willing to complete the task and get the thing accomplished that God wants us to do. See, there's been seasons in my life where I was overwhelmed, lost, and God was like, this is the appointed season though I'm going to do something in you and after the season like at the end of the season it would be like oh God you're amazing like he would do something miraculous like change me transform my mind change for my lifestyle everything God would always do that and it's always because God is always working on us and he's always transforming us and so I want to encourage you today if you feel like you're struggling you're behind in life you're stuck you are in the perfect place you're in the secret place with God because just imagine the caterpillar in the cocoon it's stuck it can't move but most of all it's protected you see God wants to get you back into his garden you remember it says it in the beginning where where the Adam and Eve were in the garden and when they sinned, they got out of God's presence. See, God wants to put you in his presence. God wants us to be in his presence because in his presence, we can get the blessings from God and we also get that personal relationship with God. Now, I wanna tell you, it's in the appointed seasons where God begins to really shake up our lives. He really changes some things, but most of all, it's you always turn out beautiful in the end. You always get some new wings, some new colors, a new personality. Because I wanna tell you today that if you decide to not stop now and to keep pushing, you will be blessed in the right appointed seasons season. See, years ago in college when God kept telling me, keep pushing with me, daughter. I know you're by yourself. I know people are laughing at you. Everybody talking about you. I know it's weird. Keep pushing. If I would have stopped that, then his daughter's closet wouldn't have got formed and I probably wouldn't be creating this video right now. I want to tell you, never stop pushing and continue even after you mess up. God always gives you a try again option. He always allows you to come back again, especially while you have time on this earth right now. It is your time to try again. It's your opportunity. If you've got breath in your lungs, you have the, you're in the perfect position to try again with the Lord. Now, God does his major work in, our, in the appointed season. I'm going to read this verse to you one more time. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. God wants us to put off the old nature and put on the new nature, okay? He wants us to put on that nature of grace and favor with no more guilt. He wants us to walk free and enjoy. He wants us to experience the peace of God. So when God puts us in these appointed season, he's trying to pr produce some fruit out of us. He's going into our gardens of our heart and uprooting some things, planting new things. God is really transforming our lives in these seasons. But most of all, you know what we usually do? We usually run away from God because it's too hard. It's too challenging. We can't keep going going but I want to tell you do not let up keep pushing keep pressing forward because God says if you do not faint right now and you keep pushing and going with me even after you've gotten a little weary you will reap a harvest in due season in the appointed time I will allow you to reap a harvest daughters of God you see, God is wanting to do something new in you. He's wanting to spring forth something so beautiful that you don't even understand. See, it's the it's the caterpillar in the cocoon. It's working. It's being transformed. It's stuck. It's like, oh my gosh, when do I get out of here? And then when it does get out, it is beautiful. I want to encourage you that God wants to give you some new wings. He wants to give you some new colors. God wants to do something so new in you. But the first off, we have to be willing that, God, what season is this? And how do I learn what you need me to learn? How do I break free from the bondage? How do I come past my childhood? How do I get past? that ex-lover how do I break through to the next dimension in you how do I get past this mountain how do I break out of poverty ask God these questions and he will help you man this morning fix is kind of all over the place but it's a word that's burning inside of my heart right now because God says if you faint not 
So don't faint. If you're running and you're gunning and you're going after the things you're trying to do with the Lord, do not give up. Do not let up. And if you need to pause, hit the pause button, take a breather and get back on it. Because many times we pause and we stop after that pause. We're like, I'm going to chill for a minute. And we never pick it back up. God says, pick back up the thing I told you was yours. Because he does that to us all the time. So I want to go ahead and say, continue to pr press after God and realize that it's in the appointed season when God does his major work. And the appointed season isn't always beautiful. It's hard, but it's a transformational season. And God is not trying to change your situation. He's trying to change you. I love you ladies. I pray this video blessed you. If you want to share this with one of your girlfriends, please do so she can get uplifted and inspired. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. God's trying to do a major work in you. Open your eyes. Let's open our eyes. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you loved this video, be sure you go ahead and subscribe and you check out all my other videos and you also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.